Hey, what's up, Scott Balcom here, and I'm with Kessler today, and we're talking about the Kessler Sydney Shooter balancing center of gravity and nodal considerations. So to make sure your Kessler Cine Shooter runs efficiently, you need to balance your camera load on your head. To do that, it's quite simple. First thing you need to do is determine where is the center of gravity on your camera. If you just put your fingers, use a couple just for safety, but you'll feel where it wants to line up, which right here in this case is right here. So you place that on your head right up here, right in the middle, lock it down. Keep that center of gravity lined up right here. So if you let go and your camera falls forward, your center of gravity is too far forward. Simply adjust it, move it back to where it's more balanced nicely. You can feel it, it the motors move freely. So find where it just, just is perfect, lock it down, and now you're balanced. Next, let's talk about nodal. And what nodal refers to is keeping the sensor plane in the very center of the movement. Nodal isn't important for everything, but it really is in the VFX world. It just makes post-processing much, much smoother. So if you happen to look right on the Cine Shooter, you will notice right in the middle is a crosshatch. That crosshatch is actually a target for nodal for the pan axis. And then over here on this side right here, there is a mark that indicates the tilt axis nodal point. Now, if you look right here on almost any cinema camera, you'll see this mark. That mark is a universal indicator for where the sensor plane is. And typically if you look at a lens right here in the middle and in the middle, that is where your sensor would be. And then the only thing you don't know is how far back it is. And various cameras pull it back quite a bit. This one right here is way back here. And if your camera is not this tall, you can simply adjust up and down and slide your camera up as needed and lock it back in place. So that is lined up now right along this axis right here. It's also lined up on this axis right here, which means as this moves up and down and side to side, the sensor itself remains in a stationary position and it just moves around that single point. Now on some cameras, they're so tall, you might need to remove your quick receiver and or your quick stand just so you can get enough height on it. It's important to keep your Kessler Cine Shooter balanced. It allows for smooth and easy operation, and that's really what we're after, isn't it? If you have any questions along the way, head over to KesslerCrane.com into the support section. You can talk to a human, you can submit a trouble ticket, you can read the frequently asked questions, or you can see other amazing videos just like this one. There are really amazing people over there, and they can't wait to see what you do with a Kessler Cine Shooter and your creativity.